Hello everyone, welcome back to Tomato Blues. Today it's going to be a healthy recipe but before I go into the recipe, let me tell you some fun facts about Singapore. Do you know what is the one thing that I really like about the local food here in Singapore? It is the fact that they eat a lot of variety of greens. Today I am going to be showing you all how to make a stir fry using red amaranth that is locally found here in Singapore. This is a very very common vegetable that these people here locally consume on a daily basis and this is something that I really really love about the local food scene in Singapore that is you know the addition of various types of greens. Now come on let's get started making this red amaranthus poreal or kira poreal in Tamil. To begin with I have shown you how I have chopped and washed the kirai. Now let us begin making our amaranth stir fry. I have taken an iron kadai today. Kire poriyal tastes best when made in an iron kadai. I am adding 1 tablespoon of coconut oil now. And when the oil begins to heat up, let us add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon of urad dal. Let us wait for the urad dal to become a little golden or little brown in color. And then let us add 2 dry red chilies. If you are not comfortable with dry red chilli, add green chilies. Now, let us add 3 fourth of a cup finely chopped onions and along with this let us add a pinch of asafoetida which is also called as peringayam in Tamil and hing in Hindi. Now once we have added all this let us also add the salt to taste. Because we are cooking greens today keep your salt on the lower side because greens generally have salt content in them. Now, once we have added all this Give it a good mix. Let us saute the onions for about 1 minute till they turn pink and translucent. You know, they should turn soft. Now, to this I am adding 3 tablespoons of moong dal which has been washed thoroughly and soaked in water for 20 minutes. The moong dal not only adds a nice texture to the poriyal but it also gives a slight kutu type of a feel. So, you know, this poriyal tastes good when you mix it with hot rice and ghee too. Now, to this I am adding 200 grams of chopped red amaranthus. If you do not find this variety of green leafy vegetable in your locality, feel free to substitute methi or palak or you know even uh, varieties like drumstick leaves that is moringa leaves or uh, agati kirai or you know um, Ponangani kirai, all this works very well in this particular recipe. Now we are going to sort the leaves till they shrink. You will be amazed at the way the volume reduces. The leaves are cooked. Generally greens have a tendency to shrink and reduce in volume. So do not be afraid to add more quantity. Now like I said when you make kirai in an iron pan it also helps in better absorption of nutrients in the kirai. So I make all my kirai dishes in an iron pan. Now you can see that the leaves have released water. Our next step is going to be cooking this uh, kirai on medium flame till the water is completely evaporated. This takes approximately 6 to 7 minutes, may take longer or lesser depending upon the variety of kirai you are using. Like I already mentioned, if you do not find red amaranthus where you live, then feel free to substitute with whatever is locally available. If you are living in Singapore, then kangkong or water spinach equally works well in this particular recipe. So now if you can see all the water has been absorbed, I am adding 3 tablespoons of freshly grated coconut to the kire poriyal. Now once the coconut has been added, give it a good mix like how I am doing now. And let us cook this on low flame for about 1 to 2 minutes so that the coconut flavors merges well with the kirai. Now our kirai poriyal that is our red amaranthus stir fry is beautifully done my friends. You can eat it with patta karambu, or you can eat it with sambar or you can just mix it with hot rice and ghee and enjoy it as a meal. For more recipes, do visit tomatoblues.com. If you like this recipe, do not forget to hit the like button, leave a comment and share this video with your friends and family. 
Thank you so much for watching my dear friends. We'll be back soon again with another video. Till then, take care, stay safe, stay home. Bye-bye.